my Malkin's moments. Again, I said I was I was ending a couple a little bit shorter today. I have a couple big Malkin's moments for you. So in the soccer world, Kareem Benzema, one of my favorite players to play with in FIFA, by the way, he breaks the uh, Champions League record. The Real Madrid legend score is the first player to score in 17 consecutive Champions League's game after he scored a penalty kick against Sharif yesterday. Now, unfortunately, Sharif ended up winning that game against Real Madrid, but Benzema was fantastic once again and is continuing to just trailblaze these new paths and record different historical, reach different historical milestones in the in the soccer world. Speaking of the soccer world, Lionel Messi scored his first goal with PSG. PSG and Man City played uh, yesterday in a Champions League matchup. And PSG prevailed 2-0. Messi scored his first ever goal with, with the club. Gave uh, PSG a 2-0 lead. And the crazy thing about that matchup is it's actually the most expensive soccer match ever as the two uh, clubs combined are worth about $2.3 billion. So an absolutely electric matchup between both of those two clubs. Shifting to baseball. I haven't talked about it too much. Obviously, we are turning. We are making the final kind of slide into home plate before the playoffs in baseball. But the St. Louis Cardinals won their 17th consecutive game in baseball. It's unbelievable. They secured a playoff berth in the NL wild card game. And this is a team that's had one of the most incredible turnarounds this past month. Right now, they are 88. They are 88 and 69 overall. But just last month, this team was kind of teetering above 500. And yet, here they are, firmly in control and in the playoffs. And it's been an unbelievable turnaround for the St. Louis Cardinals. Unbelievable turnaround. And finally, the in the WNBA playoffs, the WNBA playoffs have been taking place. Courtney Vandersloot recorded just the second ever triple-double in WNBA history for... Uh, for the Chicago Sky. In fact, she led the Chicago Sky over the Connecticut Sun in game one of the WNBA semifinals, 101 to 95 in double overtime, recorded 12 points, 18 assists, 10 rebounds. In fact, the only other player to have ever recorded a triple double in WNBA history is Cheryl Swoops, and she did it in 2005. So big shout out to Courtney Vandersloot and the Chicago Sky. Also, shout out to, to my girl, Candace Parker, who used to be with the LA Sparks. So, big time win for the Chicago Sky. Uh, that'll do it for us right here at Morning Joe. You've been watching and listening to it every Monday and Wednesday morning, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 to 11 Central, and 8 to 9 a.m. Pacific. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube page, Morning Joe with Jonah Malkin. Follow me on Twitter at Morning underscore Joe underscore. Follow me at Jonah Malkin. On Instagram, jmalk97, and on Twitter, Jonah Malkin is the, is the user name. Thank you so much for joining me, and as always, have a lovely rest of your morning.